Quick quiz, what is the largest weight-bearing joint in the body? The hip joint. When there's something wrong with it, it definitely lets you know. Dr. Richard Evanson is a fellowship-trained orthopedic surgeon at Plano Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. He's also a veteran who took his expertise to Kuwait. Paige found out how he uses cutting-edge technology to get his patients back on their feet faster. I'm at Legion Orthopedic Hospital here in Carrollton with the rare opportunity to be inside an operating room. I have the privilege of introducing you to Dr. Richard Evanson. He's an orthopedic surgeon from Plano Orthopedics and Sports Medicine Center. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about arthroscopy and how the hip map and the hip check work in treating some of these conditions. Absolutely. So when a young patient has good healthy cartilage then and they have hip pain, oftentimes that can be related to something called hip impingement. That's where they have abnormal bone on the hip joint that can pinch in the joint and actually cause a labral tear. So to treat that, we use a procedure called hip arthroscopy, which is a min minimally invasive procedure that we do through a couple small poke holes through the skin. And during this procedure, we make small poke holes in the skin and put a long camera into the hip joint so we can see and look around. And then we use this instrument, which is a shaver, to remove the bone and clean it up. So during this procedure, the hardest thing about it is to know how much bone to remove. And traditionally, what we do is just eyeball it. Mm -hmm. So now, we have a much better way of doing this. And the way we do that is with a three-dimensional reconstructed view of their hip. So this is called the hip map. And this hip map uses a CT scan to recreate their exact anatomy. And what it does is it shows me the exact amount of bone that needs to be removed and from where. And then during the surgery, you can see we have a camera up here looking inside the hip so we can see the exact amount of bone that we need to remove and confirm it. The way we confirm it is using this tool called the hip check. This is a way that I can digitally confirm that I've removed the exact amount of bone. So if you look at this picture here, you can see this is indicating that there's abnormal bone still. And then after I've removed the bone, it can digitally confirm my work and make sure I've removed the exact amount of bone. So this is before and this is after. That technology is fascinating and the ability to be so precise is obviously much better for the patient. Dr. Evanson, can you tell me a, a little bit more about hip replacement and the Mako robot? Absolutely. So a hip replacement is when we have to remove the arthritis and then replace the joint with a metal implant. So the challenge here is knowing exactly how much bone to remove and where to put that implant. So one of the things that we do when a patient is indicated for a hip or a knee replacement is we send them to get a CT scan and then they recreate a three-dimensional model which we can see up here on the screen. This three-dimensional model shows us exactly where the bone is that we need to remove, how much we need to remove, and where to put those metal implants. So as you can see in our setup here, this is an operating room table where the patient would lay. We have the Mako robot here, and then across we have the eyes of the robot so they can see exactly what's going on, where the patient is. And then we take the Mako robot as we're doing surgery, and I can put this cutter into the hip joint and remove the arthritis. Then once we've done that, okay, we can actually take the metal implants, attach them to the robot, and then insert them into the joint and make sure that they're put in the exact position necessary. So this will allow us to uh, not only remove the exact amount of bone and make our measurements just exactly perfect, but also make sure we've restored the natural anatomy of the patient and make sure there's no impingement. How does this new technology help with practices and of course with outcomes? Oh, it makes our outcomes significantly better. It allows the patients to get back to their activities sooner, decreases pain, improves their function, and it's just a significant improvement compared to the older way of doing it. Well, thank you so much for giving us this demonstration. Yeah, you're welcome. really do appreciate it. All right, and I have some information for you. If you are dealing with hip or knee pain and would like to start your journey to recovery with Dr. Evanson, call Plano Orthopedics and Sports Medicine's office at 972-250-5700 or visit posmc.com. You can also follow Dr. Evanson on Instagram 
at the hip doc.